Local and state authorities had to wear plastic biohazard suits and gas masks as they carefully cleaned up a meth lab in Cleveland County today. Deputies arrested Jonathan Self and Brandy Blanton in connection with the drug lab on Cerro Court in Shelby today. Both of them were denied bond and tonight they're in custody with the Cleveland County Sheriff's Department. Starting on Monday, North Carolina will have a new way to fight the state's meth problem. And it could change the way you buy your cold medication. New at 5, I want to snooze anchor Allison Lottas breaks down the new rules and how they're already working. Pharmacists have been keeping written logs of their pseudoephedrine sales for years, but the owner here at Pike's Pharmacy tells me he's never been inspected. Now, with a statewide database, they'll know if someone's shopping around in seconds. Dangerous and deadly. 441 meth labs like this have been found in North Carolina so far this year. Starting Monday, the state is stepping up efforts to stop it. Get rid of the meth cookers by controlling access to the one ingredient they have to have. Representative Craig Horn from Union County sponsored House Bill 12, creating a statewide database to track drug shoppers. The system allows for every pharmacy to know what happened in every other pharmacy. When pharmacists enter a customer's personal information, they'll know if that person has purchased more than three boxes of pseudoephedrine in a month. We are given uh, a no-go signal and we are not allowed to sell product to that individual. Jesse Pike's pharmacy has been using the database for two weeks and they've already received the red flag to turn one cold medicine customer away. Horn hopes the database will stop meth, save lives, and cut down on the cost to taxpayers. And you're over a hundred million dollars to the taxpayer because of meth. A hundred million dollars. And we're short on schools, we're short on road maintenance, we're short on, on uh, Medicaid. If the pharmacists don't follow this new law, they could end up facing criminal charges from a misdemeanor to a felony. In East Charlotte, Allison Lattis, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Horn has also created a committee that meets every other month to talk about the state's meth problem. Their next meeting is in late January. Now, just this week, the Caldwell County Sheriff's Office arrested Teresa Miller for purchasing 18 grams of pseudoephedrine within one month. A current state law only allows the purchase of nine grams. Investigators say her name caught the attention of drug agents because it showed up on so many pharmacy logs.